Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here on my holiday. So I thought I would do a little bit of a what's in my bag suitcase holiday edition. Let's go. So let's start with this bag. This bag is like the main suitcase. I think it's important to say I also have a kit bag, two kit bags with like filming equipment and I have my handbag and I also have extras like for a lookbook. So discounting all of those, this is the main suitcase. Now I have come here, I'm in Whitby, which is in the northeast of England. I think that's important because you'll understand why I picked some of the things that I picked to pack. To pack. But some of the stuff I will always pack for any holiday. And it is very warm today, which is not classic northeast of England weather, so yeah, that's that. I was optimistic when I packed. So let's have a look, shall we? Let's go. Now, I don't think, oh, right. There is something here. This is just car insurance and a little map to show me where to go. This is my dad put this together. But if you are driving somewhere, it is quite useful having a copy of your car insurance details with you. Um, I must admit, I do have them on my phone, but it's still good to have a paper copy, you know, just in case. <laughs> old school. So we're going to the front pocket first. I know everyone wants me to go into the main bit, but we'll get there. You've got to be patient with me. There's nothing in this one. There's too many pockets in my bag, guys. What is in this one? So this pocket is jackets. Jackets. So I have a standard black, this is faux leather because I'm not really cool. Faux leather, or I am cool depending on what side of the argument you're on with leather. I always bring a nice little jacket with me. Normally I bring this a black classic of the jacket because it goes with everything. And if it's just a bit nippy and in the evenings when you're going out for a meal and you just want a light jacket to put on, it's perfect, isn't it? Goes with everything, staple. Everyone knows, little, little black jacket, staple. So next jacket, I will just say as well, I have my big like winter jacket with me, which because I came in the car, it's easy. I can just kind of lob that in. Um, I like to bring a nice big warm jacket just in case it starts like snowing or something or it's really cold. And I have worn that a few times, so I'm pleased I brought it. Next, oh no, we're still in that one. But this, my mum bought me this recently and it is great. It's a nice rab coat. There's gonna be seagulls interrupting this whole video, guys. Let's just put that out there. Wind resistant, waterproof, and no, everything. It's got those little, those little zips in the armpits in case you get hot. <laughs> and it's great. And I've worn it loads as well. Two jackets. Bish bash bosh. Let's get in there, guys. Let's do it. So, let's talk shoes. Now, Obviously my foot is still pretty rubbish, so I've not got any heels or anything like exciting in here. I drove up wearing my trainers, my standard like Nike trainers, which I've worn to death and smell and need a wash and I can't wait to kind of chuck and get some nice new ones after my foot's a bit better. So they are gonna be my standard shoe of the holiday because they look all right and I can wear them everywhere. I've also bought some sandals. We're doing a sandwich bag to keep them clean. These are my Timberland sandals, which are just plain. I, I have worn these out. I'm kind of faking the video because I have unpacked and then repacked just to make this video for you guys. Let's just, I'm not trying to lie to you. It is what I packed. I just have worn some of the things. So they're a bit sandy, but yes, they're plain black sandals. That's it. But they've got a really good tread on the bottom, which is why I got them and they have to place my old black sandals, which just got worn to death when I broke my foot. So these ones have replaced them. Sandals. Then I brought some Converse. I haven't worn these yet, and I don't know if I can wear these with my foot, but I thought they're another pair of flat shoes. And I was hopeful that if my foot feels better, I might be able to get into another pair of trainers, which would be nice. This is a little gym towel, but I always bring like a little towel with me when I go on a beach holiday because, beach holiday, seaside holiday, because 
You know, if I want a little paddle, this was from Primark. I bought this years ago though. I don't think it was very expensive at all. They're good, they just wash really well and yeah, you can just get it sandy and then clean it. Next, next, next. So in here, I'm not gonna go through all of the bits. That's my makeup. It's in a really stupid bag because I only have one makeup bag, which is this one. And I've already packed this one. And then I was like, what am I gonna put my makeup in? Because obviously makeup's like the last thing that I pack, along with like toothbrush and hairbrush. So I just kind of found this bag and put it in here, but I will buy another makeup bag. But in this one, which is my normal makeup bag, I have put in toothpaste, gel spray, antiperspirant, perspirant. I've got some fake tan in there, which I don't really know why I packed it, because I'm probably not gonna use it. Because can you think of anything worse? <laughs> Staying in a self catering with nice white sheets. And then when I leave, they're gonna be like, why are the sheets all orange? <laughs> So maybe that wasn't the best idea, but I packed it. Just I thought if it's rainy, then I would just do it during the day and not sleep in it. That was the thought there. Gloves. Again, it's hard when you go on holiday in the UK because I'm like, is it gonna be hot? Is it gonna be cold? And whenever I've been to Whitby, I normally end up having really cold days where I'm like scarf, gloves, like winter coat. And then other days where I'm like shorts, little skimpy dress. So gloves, not worn these yet, but please I brought them anyway. I have one, two pairs of jeans. These are both blue. I wore some black jeans when I drove up. So I had a little mixture. Yeah, I kind of want some different colored jeans because these are very similar. One's got rips in, one doesn't, but they're just normal jeans. Two pairs for seven days with my black ones. Three pairs of trousers. I did overpack, can we just say that as well? I packed way too much stuff, but that's fine. It's fine, I carried it in. <laughs> I didn't carry it up here though, my dad did that, thanks there. I then have, and they're inside out, a pair of leggings. Just Gymshark leggings, which if I was a bit more active, I would have brought more active walking gear and stuff because I would have been going on walks, but I'm only going like to the beach back it's a bit rubbish but I thought if it's chucking it down or today for example we went for a little walk just along the beach and back it was it wasn't very far but I thought if the weather suddenly turned because it was lovely and I was just wearing my shorts put these in my bag and I was like just slot my leggings on and I'll be well away even though it's not like the most cool look it would it would keep me warm and dry so leggings also and I have done this. <laughs> it can be cold. It can be colder than you expect when you're not staying in your own house at night, especially if you stay with other people and maybe they like the house colder at night and stuff. So I actually slept in these one night under my nighty because I was like, I'm so cold. <laughs> so leggings are always good. Whether you're exercising as a little bit of that extra layer or if you're cold in bed, leggings. I then have my earrings, which I won't go through, but in, in another little bag, I love these little sort of bags. My earrings, I have hair bubbles, which whenever I pack my bag, I always just end up throwing loads of hair bubbles in because I'm terrified of going on holiday with no hair bubbles. So hair bubbles. I have a little evening kind of day bag. So I have my rucksack, I have a bum bag as well now with me. But I like having another like little bag to take out. I think I put I put like wipes in here as well to carry around. Not to carry around, like makeup wipes. You know what I mean? You've got a pack inside of anything and everything you can, right? Right. In here, my gold bar. Inside my gold bar I have this is like my medicine box. So I have plast blister plasters. I have what are these? This heartburn tablets. Heartburn tablets, paracetamol, you know, normal stuff. Medicine box. Medicine box. I have a hair dryer. My GHDs, straighteners. I've not used those yet. But I always bring them with me. Right, let's do tops next. I have got this one. Which is just a white, a white little top. This was from this is my garden look, but top. Nice little white cami top. I have got this one, which is this is a walking top. 
So this is my if it's cold slash if I'm out in the rain top. I like the colour of that, it's very nice. I don't know what brand this is. Montaigne. My mum bought this. Most of my walking stuff my mum brought me, she loves it. And I love her buying it for me. I then have this top, which I've not worn yet out because it's still got the label on, which is a nice black coast top with a little bow. I brought this one because it's longer sleeved. So I thought it was a bit chilly in the evening. It would look nice with a pair of jeans or I'd wear it during the day, but it was more of an evening idea. Then I brought this top, which this is garden at the top as well. It's just a black. This is my kind of, I'm going to Whitby, so I need to bring something that's a bit gothy top. <laughs> genuinely what went through my head when I packed this. But I normally tie it up. This is very like hot weather top. But it covers my arms a bit, so it's also like not too hot with it, right? With a pair of jeans? Fine. And then I have this top, which I did actually end up wearing this one when I travelled up because whenever I'm in the car, you always get a bit hot and then I always get cold and I get hot. I can never regulate my temperature very well in the car. So I thought this was good. I love this top. After being all like, I don't know if I like this top, I wear it all the time. So my little blue Dalmatian top. I then, I think that's all my tops. Oh, I also have a white vest top and a white shirt, which are in my washing bag because I've worn them and they're just too dirty to mix with this stuff. I know that one I'd worn, but that one's not too dirty, but the other stuff's real dirty, so eh. Over there. I then have this dress, which is a lipsy dress. And I brought this one because, again, I feel like you could wear this in the day or at night, and it's long sleeved, and I could wear tights with it, or I could not wear tights with it. That one, I brought this one, which is another lipsy dress, which again, this one's quite fancy, but I'd wear this day or night. Day or night. And this one, which I brought loads of dresses. I, I like wearing dresses, I'm more of a dress person now than anything else, but I'd already got my jeans, so it's fine. This white one, I thought this would look really nice on the beach. I should have worn it today really, but I don't know why I didn't wear it today. But this material is actually really thick, so it's quite warm. I think that's probably why, and it's got a good lining in. So I thought it might overheat. But just a nice white dress. I think if you're going somewhere by the beach, even though I wouldn't wear white jeans, I would wear a white dress. <laughs> Don't know. This one, this one's like my new favorite dress to wear. I wear this dress all the time. So I wore this on the first day I was here and I got changed. A leopard print dress. Um, and then I have only one skirt with me today with me today, which is this one. Because I, again, thought this was a bit gothy and I was thinking of Whitby, goth, go for it. And also I thought it will be warm, but not too warm. And I could wear that little white top with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then have tights and pants. I'm not gonna show you my pants. <laughs> I have another bra, I have a white bra, wearing a black one. I think top tip girls always take one of each. Well, you don't need to take a white one if you don't wear anything white, but I would always bring a white bra and a black one. And then I have my nighty, which this isn't really a nighty. I think this is just a normal dress that I got, but I use it as a nighty because it's a bit too short for a day dress. I have my bikini because I was being optimistic and was like, well, if it's really hot, I'm going for a swim in the sea. Yeah, as you do. I have a couple of belts. So I have a waist belt, belt, a waist belt and a bigger belt, but this one can also be a waist belt. I have a little pair of shorts. Now I always bring like these. These were my pole dancing shorts. I can, sometimes I put these under my nighty to sleep because if I need the toilet, I feel like my nighty is a little bit like, hmm, if I bump into my father. So I keep these, put these on. But also if I was wearing like this dress, I do have a pair of shorts on, but other dresses, little pair of black shorts. If your underwear is a little bit skimpy, they can add a little bit more 
that I dignity to yourself. And then I have my jumpers. So I've also brought with me a white, plain white jumper, which I've worn so it's in the dirty pile. Then I brought with me just this one, which is my white cardigan, Batwing cardigan, which is, I don't like how old it is. You can't read the label, nothing on it. My mum will tell you this was hers and she got it from a thrift shop when she was young and then I stole it off of her because I love it. So no idea who makes it, but I've still got the spare button, which I'm very impressed myself by. But I think just a plain black or white cardigan is always a good shout when you're going away. I'm really dark now, aren't I, over here? A plain white or black cardigan. And then I have this top, which I got from a walking, I, I bought this one. I got from a walking shop and I brought it when I, for <clears throat> this top, which I got from a walking shop. I did buy this. I brought this for running because I thought, I always ended up like getting way too hot because I'd wear like a really thick hoodie when I went running and then you just overheat and it'd be a whole thing. But I found this and I love this because although it's a running top, it fits me really well. It's like really kind of flattering. And again, it looks like it shouldn't be warm, but it's really warm. And I just thought over dresses or over jeans, it would go lovely. And it's got nice pockets in. And then I have a towel and a spare bag like this, one of the bags for life to put my dirty laundry in. But I've actually got another one, so I've been using, <laughs> I've been using that one. Right, well, there you go, everyone. And that was what is in my bag, holiday edition suitcase. Yeah, I think I covered everything. If I haven't, while I've been editing, I'll add in. Oh, and this, and this, but. I have my hairbrush and my toothbrush are already out, but obviously I would pack those. So remember those. I normally end up putting those in my handbag because those are my makeup bag. Pretty much anything that I will use on the day, I always keep it all together on my dressing table normally, right next to my handbag. And then I just put it all in there before I go um, because I don't like putting stuff in and out of my main case on the day I'm going somewhere because that's normally when I forget something. But yeah, that's it. Let me know in the comments below if you've liked my video. What else would you pack for your holiday? I know a few things that I wish I'd packed for this one, but I'll do that in another video. So let me know in the comments below what you liked, what you didn't like. Remember to hit that subscribe. Remember to hit that like button. And I will see you all soon for my next video. Take care, bye.